Hey guys, my name is Shabani. I keep myself busy with my book and pen. I have no friends and the boy I have a crush on didn't even know I existed. Today I accidentally bumped into him and he responds, "Sorry, Benji." That's when it hit me hard. I have watched many YouTube videos and I have taken notes about the same. So I really hope it helps me transform. Okay, so first things first, snap your fingers. Um okay, nothing really happened. Let me just try again. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look, that was easy. So I'm going to shave my face before the director of Kapir Singh casts me for the next remake. So you really got to be slow and concentrate while doing that or you could accidentally cut your face. Next, I'm going to be moisturizing my face. I'm using the Belief True Cream moisturizing balm and putting a generous amount of it all over my face and also my neck and massaging that into my skin. Next, I'm grooming my brows by tweezing off excess hair. After that, I was starting to fill up my brows with a brow pencil when a naughty idea struck me. Why not create brows like Kendall Jenner or Bella Hadid that I lifted up? So I took my razor again and took off my eyebrow tail. And then I took my eyebrow pencil and started creating brow strokes, lifting up my eyebrows rather than the droopy eyebrows that it previously was. And I actually like what it looks like. Then I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution concealer in C10 and just prime my eyelid with it. This is going to help in cancelling off the discoloration of my eyelid and it's going to serve as a good base for my eyeshadows. Then I'm going to use the Morphe 35 Y shadow palette using those two nudish brown shades. They are just a few shades darker than my natural skin tone. Using a fluffy blending brush, just blending it into my crease. I'm also just blowing out the side, pulling the eyeshadow way up than usual. Once I'm done building up with it, I'm going to use this dark brown eyeshadows and just further deepen up my crease using a smaller blending brush. Again, I'm blowing out the eyeshadow upwards, but not as much as the previous one. After which I'm going to use this pigment from NYX, it's called White Mocha and I'm going to cut my crease with it. And since I'm not good with cut creases, I'm just cutting my crease a little bit, stopping, taking a look, then again going ahead and cutting my crease some more, again stopping and continuing to do it in that manner. And then I'm going to use my sugar kachal pencil and an angular brush. I'm creating a cat eye and I'm going to create it at a much more angle than I would usually do with a regular cat eye. I'm going to take it way up than usual and that is just going to lift my eyes further. But the cat eye need not be perfect because we are going to blend it out with an eyeshadow. And I'm also taking this dark brown eyeshadow and just blending the edges of the wing liner with the dark brown so that there's a gradient happening from black to dark brown to the shimmery pigment. And then I'm just going to take some makeup remover on a Q-tip and just clean up the eyeshadow so that the angle is more precise. I'm going to add a coat of Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara to my upper lashes for now. I'm going to use the pack M79 lashes because it's really dramatic and I'm going for a dramatic look. So I'm going to stick the outer portion of my lashes a little higher, not on my lash line, but on the angled liner. This is going to help in really lifting up your eyes and don't worry if it looks like this right now. I'm going to use an eyelash curler to squeeze my natural lashes with the falsies and I'm also going to be adding another coat of mascara. I have these new products that I want to use today so I'm going to use the Nykaa primer and just press it into my pores and also my T-zone which tends to get oily. And then foundation I'm using the Nykaa Skin Shield Anti-Pollution Foundation and I bought the shade 10 Golden Hour and I'm just going to use the damp beauty blender to blend all of this out. 
and now i get all the raving about this foundation it's a pretty decent medium coverage foundation sits beautifully on the skin worth the price i'd say so like i said it's a medium coverage foundation so i was just trying to build up a little more and blend it out with a beauty blender it just blends beautifully without looking cakey even when building up i'm just going ahead and using the makeup revolution concealer and using this to highlight my face so i like highlighting under my eyes the bridge of my nose a little bit on my forehead just the center also my chin my nose area and once again i will be using a damp beauty blender to blend all of this out next i'm taking a bigger brush and i'm going to use the makeup revolution bronzer just bronze up my face with it And then I'm using a cooler brown to just contour, just to add some definition wherever I need it. So the contouring is going to help in making my features look nice and sharp. Next, I'm using the Ben Nye Luxury Banana Powder, which is a yellow color powder. And I'm going to seal wherever I highlight it with it. So I'm adding some extra powder just under my eyes and also sides of my nose and also below my cheekbones. And I'm going to let that sit for some time and then dust off the extra powder. For blusher, I'm going to use the Bharat and Doris Peach Blusher. And then I'm quickly going to continue with the rest of my eye makeup. So once again, I'm using the Kajal Pencil from Plum and just lining my waterline with it. Yeah, that's just tears of joy. Never looked this good before. Just using the same brown eyeshadows that we used earlier and just blending below my lashes. And I just realized while editing this video that I forgot to apply mascara to my lower lashes. Great. I'm also going to use the Pack Micro Finish Makeup Setting Spray to hold my entire full face of makeup in place. And for some glow on my face, I'm going to add the Maybelline Highlighter in Molten Gold and apply to the inner corners of my eyes, also below the arch of my brow, the highest points of my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my cupid's bow. On my lips, I'm going to start by adding Miss Claire Soft Matte Lip Cream and this is in number 14. I wanted my lips to look extremely nude so I'm taking some foundation and tapping it on the center of my lips. I also put on some gloss in the center of my lips and I don't know where it is from because it's really really old but yep. I am really really bad when it comes to hairstyles but I'm going to attempt to do something today. So I started by creating like a half updo and all I can say is I literally felt my hands are going to fall off my body. I made sure to tie the hair really really tight with a hair tie and I'm using some hairspray to hold it in place. Then taking little sections and started to curl my hair with a curling wand. And that as you can see was quite a juggle too. I took a little strand of hair and wrapped around my hair tie because technically you're not supposed to show the hair tie. I also took like a black eyeshadow and yeah, as you can see, I'm just blending my hairline to give me a perfect hairline. Okay, but there was no stopping here because I didn't want to look anything less than an Asian baby girl. So I ordered for tattoos off Amazon and this was the only one that made it on time for my video. So yeah, I'm going to just put those birds flying into my ears right there. But you know when you hand over an m, &M to a baby, she can't stop at one. That's exactly what happened to me. I just wanted some more birds and this is what I did and I messed it up. It looks funny now. <laughs> So that's about it. This right here is a finished look. Let me know what you think about this transformation and my little act. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this video. And if you have any video requests, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Also hit the bell notification. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.